Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a public folder inside of Google Drive and then sh share the items inside of that uh, folder um, so you, you can post them on the internet for other people to see, such as websites, um, applets, anything really. So what we'll do is I go ahead and log into your Google Drive account if you don't already have an account you can go to drive.google.com and create a Google account once we're here we're gonna go and hit the create button at the top left and go to folder we're gonna name um, you can name this whatever you want this is your website you can you can name it website so we'll just say website for now it should create a folder and we're gonna right click on it and then we're going to go to share and share you should get a little window that popped up hit advanced in the bottom right what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this public so what this means is that we're going to create um, this whole web uh, this whole everything inside of this folder will essentially as long as somebody you know has the means to access it uh, as in like the link or something like that um, they can view it so if they stumble upon it in a Google search they can view it that way it does not matter so you do that by clicking the change button and doing on public on the web it says anyone on the internet can find and access no sign-in required so we'll go ahead and hit save and then done it should say public on the web as you'll see we now have folder that has kind of like a little person inside the folder compared to like my other folders here um, so that means that it also have a little shared uh, tag on it so that means that anything on this website again is public so what we can do is we can create a simple um, HTML file and what we'll do is we'll just open it, edit it, add a little something here. And we'll just say hello. This is just a simple website file. So we'll go ahead and upload it into that, um, into the folder. So as you can see, by default, it's going to be set to shared because everything inside of this folder is going to be shared. So now, how do I give this file to somebody else? Um, what we can do is once we click on the file and we have it highlighted, on the right-hand side, you'll, it'll default to activity. So why don't you click on details? And then at the very bottom, it'll say hosting. So hosting will be... Um, the actual file that you want to utilize. So if we go ahead and open it, this will be hello world, what I wrote inside that, that HTML file. So as you can see here, this is, this is now the new way of how to get the, um, the file name for something. Um, now, why, why would you need something like this? Well, if you maybe let's say this HTML file was utilizing an image um, and I was also hosting that image I would put the image inside of this website folder and due to the whole folder being public this file would be able to access the image file if I you know wrote a call for it in the HTML so um, again if you don't have this right taskbar you just click the little details and activity button it looks like an eye with a circle around it and again details and it'll say you know, kind of give you a little everything going on visibility public on the web it'll give you the owner you can set a description um, you can pretty much set whatever you want so uh, but that was that's how you would make a you know a test website or something like that you just wanted to host it real quick obviously these will not have any special domain names it'll just be like I said really weird long thing so all right, I hope that helps. Um, I know Google Drive recently made this update to do it this way. So um, if you found me through my older video, this is now the newer way to do it and you should utilize this way. Thank you.